As you well know, grief around the holidays seemed to compound itself a lot. How do you deal with that properly and how do you work through that grief? There's a place here in town that can help. It is called the Center for Grief Recovery. And joining us with more on that is Mike Wadelin. Mike is the guy behind the uh, Grief Recovery Center. Um, tell me what you had to do to become a certified grief recovery specialist. We are trained uh, by the Grief Recovery Center. The Grief Recovery Center for the last 35 years has been the national leader in the study of grief. Right. And uh, they are based in California. Now they're based in Seattle. And you go through a, a, an extensive training, uh, get certified, and then you can then teach the, the classes. And the classes, it's an eight-week uh, uh, eight group class. Uh, where we teach people how to deal with the losses in their life. It doesn't have to be necessarily a death or a traumatic experience mm -hmm. for it to fall under the grief umbrella. Correct? Most people think of, of grief as to do with death and divorce. Mm -hmm. But it's really any significant emotional loss of any kind that affects you. People, when they, we spend our lives learning how to acquire things, right. but nobody ever teaches us how to let go. And so what we do is we help you understand how to process those losses in your life. And it might be uh, an empty nester whose kids are gone. It might be around the holidays now we face a lot of financial insecurity. Maybe we lost uh, a job uh, and so things aren't the same. So any type of a major significant loss, grief is the natural and normal response to that. And a couple of uh, myths that were up on that you, know, you see on the screen <laughs> here now. Time does not heal all wounds. No. That's like saying if somebody slashes your arm with a big knife, just sit around and it'll get better. Yeah. No. You've got to do something. You've got to process it. There are six myths that most people have been taught somewhere along the line. Uh, grieve alone. You know, it, parents will tell their children, if you're going to cry, go to your room. Right. You know, we're taught to bottle it in, hold up. We're Especially men. Absolutely. We're taught that sad is bad. And sad is not bad. Sad is a natural part of, of life. And so we have to learn to process that. What do you do to help us use that grief, turn it around, and actually come out stronger once we are on the other end of that tunnel? Again, learning to process it. And what we do, we believe that most people who are experiencing grief, it has to do with undelivered emotional communication. Uh, things that you wish would have been different, better, or you'd have had more of things you wish you'd have said, or things you wish you hadn't said. So we go and we get people to look at, at the losses in their life and begin to evaluate the level of those losses. And then we teach them how to take them and process them uh, by, eventually we write a letter. That's the way the whole class ends. Right. But there's a whole eight-week process to get us to that point. Action steps, that's the key. You can't just sit and do nothing. You take action steps. And that then allows you to process grief in every area of your life. Internalizing the biggest mistake, right? Absolutely. Not getting it out. Absolutely. What's the second biggest? <sighs> think of something that you've grieved for in your own life. Probably, you think the, probably the isolation. You know, isolating yourself away from people. Mm -hmm. That becomes very common with folks. Uh, replacing the loss is another thing that people try to do. Right. If you're, we'll use a pet loss, for example, if your dog dies, you just get a new dog. Well, that doesn't really work because the relationship you had was with your old dog, mm -hmm. and getting a new dog doesn't fix it. Sure. Same with, that's why so many people will leave a, a marriage and immediately marry again. Right. They'll replace that loss, but it doesn't fix it. Uh, what's the uh, term called psychologically? It's not grief transference, but it's something like that. Sounds like this is uh, something you've got well under control, just like you do about everything else. So, um, if and you have classes on this starting in January, mm -hmm. but obviously you're willing to help people out prior to that. Correct? Oh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. How do we get in touch with you, Mike? If we'd like more information, you can go to our website. It's griefchat.com. C-H-A-T-T. Mm -hmm. uh, -T -T. Right. There's a lot of information on the website. There's a schedule of classes on the website. There's information. Uh, if you uh, cannot, our classes are $149 for eight weeks, right. and that includes all the materials. But if you can't afford that, we make it available to people regardless of their ability to pay because we believe that this is an important thing. Sure, no doubt about it. Mike Wadel, always a pleasure having you here. We Thank hope you. will come back and talk to us in the coming weeks as mm -hmm. the classes get a little closer to starting. They'll meet at the White Oak United Methodist Church over in Red Bank. Call 779-6420, 779-6420.
Hang around. We've got a little bit more of Let's Chat right after this.